So guess what? ChatGPT recently dropped something exciting, the GPT Store. It's an online platform designed to host a variety of ChatGPT-powered bots tailored to assist users across diverse skill sets. In the two months since its introduction, users have created over 3 million custom GPTs. Now, with the store's launch, they can share these creations with a wider audience. Now, let's chat about the GPT store, but stay tuned because right after, I'll show you how to build your own GPT and provide you with some information about monetization. I'm truly convinced that this new GPT store is a gold mine waiting to happen, especially if you get in on the action early. The GPT store is positioned to play a role for ChatGPT, similar to what the App Store does for iPhone apps. A central, user-friendly hub for exploring, utilizing, and benefiting from various applications. This initiative reflects the transformative influence of app stores in the mobile domain, now extending into the realm of artificial intelligence. The introduction of the GPT store goes beyond technological progress. It represents a potential economic paradigm shift for AI developers and enthusiasts. OpenAI is basically creating an AI app store where we can share and make money from our custom GPTs, opening up a fresh platform for AI creators. A crucial aspect of the GPT store is its revenue sharing model, grounded in community usage. This innovative approach empowers creators to earn from their custom GPTs, fostering an environment of creativity and entrepreneurship within the AI community. The GPT Store will showcase a leaderboard that highlights the most outstanding GPTs, fostering healthy competition among creators. OpenAI is even planning to shine a spotlight on the most useful and delightful creations, giving props to quality and innovation. Now, when it comes to privacy, the GPT Store assures users that their conversations are not shared with the GPT Builder. Additionally, users retain the flexibility to keep their GPTs private and internal, maintaining control over how their creations are utilized and accessed. But how do you get into the GPT Store? First things first, you need to have a ChatGPT team subscription. Team customers gain access to a private section of the GPT Store, featuring admin controls for managing both internal and external GPTs. They can also access the area where you can securely publish GPTs to the workspace. Now just visit chat.openai.com and click Explore GPTs. Navigate through daily top picks, community favorite GPTs, and those developed by OpenAI. Search for specific GPT names or functions in the navigation bar or explore categories like writing, productivity, research and analysis, programming, education, and lifestyle. So where can you use the GPT store for? Think websites, Chrome extensions, or even kickstarting a YouTube channel. The possibilities with GPTs are pretty wild. OpenAI emphasizes the potential of GPTs beyond text-based conversations and has priced the team subscription at $25 per month, slightly higher than the professional tool's single-serving plus subscription. I think this move aims to encourage a deeper utilization of ChatGPT in this year. Exciting times ahead. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. How to create your very own custom GPT. Get ready to unleash your skills and potentially make some money using OpenAI's GPT store with these steps. One, create your builder profile. Head over to Settings and click on Builder Profile. Update your information to enable the creation of publicly shared GPTs. 2. Access your GPTs. Simply tap on your name to open up the menu. Select My GPTs to view and manage your creations. 3. Describe your creation. Have a casual chat with ChatGPT to lay out your vision for your GPT. Share the details on what your GPT is all about and how it functions. 4. Customize knowledge, capabilities, and actions. Visit the configure area recommended by ChatGPT for some starter tips. Personalize your GPT by uploading relevant files, choosing models such as browsing, code interpreter, DALI, and integrating APIs. Five, save and share. Wrap up your GPT, save your progress, and decide if you wanna share it with the world or keep it close using the drop-down menu. Once your custom GPT is all set, sharing it on the new store is a breeze. Start by making sure it's accessible to everyone. Then, for the finishing touch, 
Validate your builder profile with these easy steps. Click on Settings, then click on Builder Profile, and finally click on Enable Your Name or a Verified Website. And there you have it. Now let's get into the details of how you're going to cash in. OpenAI is gearing up for a GPT Builder Revenue Program, expected in the first quarter of the year. Although the specifics are a tad unclear, one thing's for sure, your earnings will be tied to how much people interact with your GPT. If your GPT is more popular, OpenAI will have higher compensation. So, there's a golden opportunity here, I think, to make some money. Think back to the release of the iPhone. The App Store played a significant role in its revolutionary impact. The new marketplace was open to everyone, creating opportunities for small developers to compete with established names. In those early Apple App Store days, you could stumble upon apps from heavyweights like the New York Times, alongside hidden gems like Evernote, which eventually skyrocketed in value to nearly $1 billion by 2013. Now, the GPT store seems to be following a similar path. As a first step, builders will be getting paid based on how users engage with their GPTs, leaning more towards YouTube's views-based payment scheme than Apple's 70-30 revenue sharing scheme for App Store purchases, but that won't be clear until OpenAI fully explains its approach. A report in Quartz highlights the initial chaos and excitement of the first days of the GPT store. AI girlfriend chatbots, which provide companionable flirty text-based chat experiences, are said to be flooding the store, putting OpenAI's App Store rules to the test, these rules put the brakes on GPTs dedicated to fostering romantic connections or dabbling in regulated activities, although the specifics of these regulated items are a bit hazy. While it makes sense to steer clear of tricky legal and moral territories, it's a curious rule, considering Apple's famously restrictive App Store already hosts quite a few popular girlfriend or relationship-themed chatbots. On a more pragmatic note, the surge in loneliness in the U.S. might just open doors for small businesses to launch and cash in on tailored GPTs catering to this market. The brief surge of girlfriend AI chatbots may also hint that the whole concept of a chatbot app store could succeed in the long term. News that Quora is using its Poe platform for its own app store-like effort supports the idea and creates competition in the nascent marketplace there will likely be plenty of small businesses with innovative ideas that sweep into the open eye store and start making money. To wrap it up, the GPT store is more than a marketplace. It's a canvas for your imagination. Your creativity could be the next big thing in AI, and I'm excited to see what you'll come up with. Take this chance, you're still early. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments about what you think of the GPT store. Remember to subscribe and like, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.